Brothers and sisters, this is part two of the two missions of Jesus. Part two of the two missions of Jesus. We're going to go ahead and pick this up in the book of Luke, the fourth chapter. Chapter four, chapter four and verse 14. Look at him come now. He's on the scene. He done got popular. He done made a name for himself. He done got the attention mm -hmm. of the spiritual leaders. And look what happened, black guys. 14. Here we go. And Jesus returned in the power of the spirit into Galilee. Uh -huh. And there went out a fame of him through all the region round about. Wow. Come on, Ice. And he taught in their synagogues, being glorified of all. He did what, Ice? He taught. He didn't yell. He didn't scream. He didn't hoop and holler. He taught. Come on, Ice. And he came to Nazareth. Where he had been brought up. His own town. And as his custom was. As his what was, black guy? As his custom was. What would Jesus do? Hmm. As his custom was, he went into the synagogue on the Sabbath day. Oh. And stood up for to read. No, you read that wrong. He went into the synagogue on a Sunday. No, I didn't say that Sunday is the first day of the week. The seventh day of the week is Saturday, which is from Friday sundown to Saturday sundown. And it says, as, as his custom was, uh -huh. he went into the synagogue on the Sabbath day. He went to church on a Saturday, brothers and sisters. And did what, Ice? And stood up to read. And what happened? And there was delivered unto him the book of the prophet Isaiah. Uh -huh. And when he had opened the book, uh -huh. he found the place where it was written. So he was reading the writings of the prophets that he himself had given them through the Holy Spirit. Uh, when he was in his spirit body. Come on, black guys. What, what, what did it say? The spirit of the Lord is upon me uh -huh. because he have anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. Oh, so that's one of his missions, wasn't it? Uh -huh. To preach the gospel or the good news or thy kingdom come, come to the poor. And what else, Black Ice? To preach the good news to the poor. Uh huh. He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted. What? To preach deliverance to the captives. And recovering of sight to the blind. Not only physically blind, but the spiritually blind. Black eyes, go ahead. To set a liberty. To set it, to set people free. Them that are bruised. And how are they bruised, black eyes? With false doctrine. They're hidden. We're hitting the head, brothers and sisters. With false doctrine. Wow. It's almost like this wound that in, in the head, brothers and sisters, is the most important uh, body part. Uh-huh. Because it determines what the rest of the body does. Wow. So when you can control someone's head or his mind, even the Bible says as a man thinketh in his heart. Well, that heart in this context is nothing more than your mind. Uh -huh. Because a heart, the blood vessel that pumps, brothers and sisters, you can't think with that. So as a man thinketh in, in his heart, so is he. Uh -huh. But if someone is coming to change your mind, brothers and sisters, that's something totally different. My question Julius. is, black guys, when the Lord raises up his servants, even this day, are they liked? Hmm. No. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe we are real Christians. Hmm. Come on, black guys. Continue. Verse 19. Verse 19, uh -huh. to preach the acceptable year of the Lord. And go ahead. And he closed the book. Uh -huh. And he gave it again to the minister. And did what? And sat down. And what happened? And the eyes of all them that were in the synagogue were fastened on him. And what did he say then that really blew their mind? That really hacked them off? Go ahead. And he said unto them, you will surely say unto me this proverb, uh -huh. physician, yeah. heal thyself. Whatever we have heard done in Capernaum, mm -hmm. do also here in thy country. But check this out. Back up and read verse 21 and 22. 21 and 22. Go ahead. And he began to say unto them, What? This day is the scripture fulfilled in your ears. This prophecy, this day, I am fulfilling prophecy this day. But then what happened at 22, black guys? And all bear him witness. And wondered at the gracious words which proceeded out of his mouth. What? And they said, is not this Joseph's son? But black guys, what did he, what came out of his mouth? The word of God. But the truth. But the, but so he brought grace, didn't he? The gracious words that, uh, uh, what you say, ice, a time period. That's right. Gracious words, unmerited favor. I came to bring you something that 
you guys was on a death mission mm. and I came to bring you the words of eternal life and you don't like me. How do I know? Read Black Ice at verse 28. Skip all the way down to 28. Verse 28. Yes. And it reads. Yes. And all they in the synagogue, when they had heard these things, were filled with wrath. And what did they do, Ice? And rose up and thrust him out of the city and led him unto the brow uh -huh. of the hill whereon their city was built, that they might cast him down headlong. What? You want to thrust them out? You hate no him because now he is exposing you. And if he came again today, the preachers will say, bodyguards, entourage, throw him out. How do I know that? Let's go to Matthew. Let's go to St. John, black guys. St. John. Brothers and sisters, we're talking about the two missions uh -huh. of Jesus here on the Bible radio show, The Truth Hour. We're going to go ahead and go to the book of John. St. John. We're dealing with that first mission, brothers wow. and sisters. The reason why he came. How could we gain access to the Father without going through him? There was two missions. This one needed to be completed first, but the Jewish leadership of that day didn't understand, brothers and sisters, that now was not the time mm -hmm. for you to be delivered out of captivity. From being under Roman oppression, brothers and sisters. Black eyes, look how the people judged back then. And I say again, people say, well, y'all being hard on the prophets and the ministers today. No, we read the book. The mm -hmm. book is the judge. St. John 8, St. Mm -hmm. John 8, Black Ice, and let's pick this up at verse 1. And you tell me, how would you judge it, sisters and brothers? I thank God that he has his word written so that we can judge righteously. St. John 8 and 1. St. John 8 and 1. Come and on, it reads, Jesus went out, un Jesus went unto the Mount of Olives. Uh -huh. And early in the morning, he came again into the temple, uh -huh. and all the people came unto him uh -huh. and sat down and taught them. See, a preacher is a teacher. It's not hooping and hollering. A preacher is also a teacher. And teaching is preaching. Come on, Ice. And the scribes and Pharisees brought unto him a woman taken in adultery. Uh -huh. And when they had her, had and when they had set her in the midst. Wait a minute. The scribes and the Pharisees, the religious rulers of that day, how come they didn't judge her? Mm -hmm. Why are you bring it to him? You're supposed to be the law keepers and the upholders of the law. But you're gonna bring you got because you got something on your mind. You got something on your mind. They, look what they had on their mind. Let's go ahead. Verse 4. They said unto him, Master, Master, this yeah. woman was taken in adultery in the very act. Go ahead. Now Moses and the law commanded us that such should be stoned, uh -huh. but what say you? Wait a minute. If Moses commanded you that you that they should be stoned, then that then that's the judgment, ain't it nice? That's the judgment. But some things and for the edification of the world, sisters and brothers. In other words, we're gonna the moral of this is judge. Righteously. Come on, Ice. This they said, uh, tempting him. Doing what, Ice? Tempting him. Oh, that was the whole purpose of them bringing her. Go ahead. That they might have to accuse him. Go ahead. But Jesus stooped, stooped down and with his finger wrote on the ground uh -huh. as though he heard them not. Why? Because you ain't saying nothing. Y'all wrong. Y'all, you're talking loud, but you ain't saying nothing. And you're words. wrong. He looked in their minds and saw that they was wrong, Ice. Come mm -hmm. on. So when they continued asking him, uh -huh. he lifted up himself and said unto them, he that is without sin among you, uh -huh. let him cast the first stone Come on, Ice. at her. And again, he stooped down and wrote on the ground. What, what was he writing, Ice? Hmm. What, do the, what do the book say he was writing? It don't say, Brother so Julius. So stop saying that Jesus wrote this and wrote that. The book don't say. That is what you call righteously dividing the word of truth, sisters and brothers. Come on, Ice. Verse 9. And they, and they which heard it, uh -huh. being convicted by their own conscience, uh -huh. went out one by one, uh -huh. beginning at the eldest, uh -huh. even unto the last. Uh -huh. And Jesus was left alone, and the woman standing in the midst. Go ahead. When Jesus had lifted up himself and saw none but the woman, <coughs> he said unto her, Woman, where are those thine accusers? Uh -huh. Have no man condemned you? Go ahead. She said, no man, Lord. And yes. Jesus said unto her, neither do I condemn you. 
go and sin no more. So black guys, all I'm departed, when he said he that is without sin, let him cast the first stone, they all was convicted. Every last one of them was convicted. You know why? What was their conviction, Ice? What did they do wrong? They were judging, Brother Julius. Judging who? They were judging this flesh and blood woman, knowing that they also too had sin. Not only that, Black Ice, but mm -hmm. what was that great failure? Why did Jesus let that woman go? Because who did they bring to Jesus, Black Eyes? Just the woman, but not the man. Can a woman commit adultery by herself? She cannot. That's what convicted them. They knew they was wrong. We bought this woman, we caught her in the very act, but she wasn't by herself. How you gonna catch a man and a woman and just bring the woman? Now, if they had bought the man and the woman, the law of Moses, you can go back and read it. The law of Moses, which really is the law of God, the, but uh, the law, Moses was a lawgiver through the word of God, says that if a woman and a man be caught in adultery, they both should be stoned. So they was wrong. Hypocrites. And they was convicted. And the Lord could have killed them because the, law, the commandment says, thou shall not bear false, false witness. witness. Brothers oh. and sisters, wow. we, we got to get to this sacrifice part mm. because... His first mission was to be a sacrifice, brothers and sisters. Mm. That was the purpose of his coming through Mary wow. to be a sacrifice. Wow. But the Jewish leadership didn't understand that. Mm -hmm. They were waiting for what we're waiting on, brothers and sisters, mm -hmm. the second coming. They thought that he was going to be in all power and all glory uh -huh. and rulership when he first came. Mm. But that wasn't his mission, brothers and sisters. He needed to open up the gates to the kingdom of God for everyone who would accept him. If he had not made the sacrifice that he made, brothers and sisters, we could not have access to the kingdom of God. But Black Eyed, they were looking for a king at that time. They were, brothers and sisters. So hold on. This is going to conclude part two mm -hmm. of our blockbuster lesson, brothers and sisters, the two missions of Jesus. Yes. Stay tuned for part three, brothers and sisters.